What is going on, guys? My name is Affected Ryan. Today I'm coming at you with a dual commentary with my good friend here, Kyle. Kyle, say hi. Hey, how's everybody doing out there? I'm sure they're doing fantastic. So, uh, we tried this last night. We did. <laughs> we, we, we were pretty fucked up last night. <laughs> a few beers. <laughs> Just a so, few. So, Kyle came over today after work, and uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a shot again. So, yeah. I mean, let's go ahead and get started with the game. Press A, motherfucker. All right. All right, so... Um, what do you uh, what do you think the outcome is gonna be here? Um, three to four for me. Three to four. Ballsy, oh, motherfucker. That's it's pretty ballsy. I mean, I'd like well, to see it. Especially playing against you. <laughs> so there's a couple things that actually we we actually talked about what we wanted to talk about during this dual calm outside having a smoke before we started up. Is that not correct? Oh, that is correct. God. Damn it. But now you're seeing a frustrated, affected Ryan. <laughs> Fuck you. And I like frustrated, affected Ryan. Yeah, I know you do. You gotta fucking kick from that shit. Uh, the first thing, I guess, um, roommates. I don't know how many of you guys out there have roommates that are living with roommates that have ever had roommates. Dealt with the roommates. Dealt with the roommates. <laughs> um, but that, that's one of the things that, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'll, I'll take, take a that. penalty. I'll All take right. a penalty. Alright, that's a shot though. It's not even the penalty. I'm not sure how many of you, like I said, I, I don't know how many of you have roommates or anything, but it, it, it can go either way, can't it? Most definitely. You know what I mean? Can. You can have fantastic roommates and you have the worst. And I think we wanted to talk about it because Kyle, you and I were roommates for how long? Around a year. Almost yeah, over a year, cool. yeah. yeah. A little over a year. And, you know, we had some good times. A lot of drinking. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of fun. Remember the day you broke my nose in the basement? <laughs> we found the boxing gloves after that house party? Yeah, we, uh... Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's... I forgot about that, actually. We, I uh, did We did go to a... Well, we, I'm sure you did. We went to a house party. I forget where. There you go. I, I forget where it was. But anyway, we came back. We were pretty half cut to begin with. And uh, where the fuck did those boxing gloves come from? I don't know, man. I don't know. He had a flood in his basement. Yeah. And it was, the living room it was, was clear. Bad. This is where we lived, by the way. We lived in the basement of a place we rented it, so. Fair enough, yes. But no, we came home, we're loaded, and nothing in the living room because of the flood, so everything was moved out of it. And we found boxing gloves. Yeah, I don't know where they came from. They must have been Brant's or something. Um... So yeah, we decided that it would probably be a good idea to drunkenly box each other. And you got a couple good hits in there. Well, yeah, when you dropped your gloves after that kidney shot. Yeah, he gave me a good <laughs> kidney shot and I I didn't drop them as if to say I'm done. I dropped them to reevaluate the situation. <laughs> and I think Valid. Kyle, Kyle, you you took it incorrect. Oh no. You God damn it. You took it incorrectly. You, you thought that I was over, and I actually, I didn't really realize that, so I went ahead and gave you a, a decent, I mean, we weren't boxing, we weren't, we weren't trying to hurt each other. No, 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 at not all. at all, not at all. But, uh, you know, it was a little bit of play fighting, but, you know, at the end of the day, if you get a, if you get a shot to the nose, even play fighting wise, two big guys, because we're not the smallest guys in the world. No, not at all. So, you know, a little bit of play fighting can, can get injured. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, once again, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> the it, best part, though, was, was after putting it, it back yeah. together. I mean, because I think I broke. Oh, there you go. Oh man. I think I broke it. Well, you broke it most yeah, definitely. I you broke, broke it. Yeah. So I'm in the bathroom. Oh god. And it's like a little crooked, and he's like, "Want me to fix that for you?" Mm -hmm. And I'm like, "No, I'll do it myself. It hurts less." And I put it back in place. Mm -hmm. And then we went and grabbed a bottle of Jack, and we continued. Now we did get more <laughs> yeah. fucking Jack, didn't we? <laughs> Holy shit. Trent down memory lane. <laughs> so that's that's one of the many stories. Uh, but I'm thinking I'm thinking, Kyle, you're having some you're having some issues with your mate at the moment. Right? Well, he's needy. It's almost like he thinks just because I live with the guy, I have to be his best friend. Yeah. No, well, yeah. makes sense. No. No, I'm I, not saying I'm not saying it makes sense that he feels that way, I'm just Well, I understand yeah. exactly, but so how, how does that literally, and I want to get more into, because there's a lot of guys out there that are roommates that, that do think, I mean, that's that's the extreme, I think, maybe, 
You know what I mean? Like that feeling that way, having having a roommate that feels that way. I think that's probably an extreme situation. But at the end of the day, you know, I I don't think that I don't think that people motherfucker. I don't think that people uh, realize the the amount of impact that you have on someone else's life when you're living with them. You know what I mean? And I think, that, like I said, that's an extreme example, but. Well, not even extreme. Like, any validation on that is true. Uh, no, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm saying it's extreme when it comes to the situation. Like, I mean, there, not a lot of people out there are experiencing that same needy <laughs> roommate that you have, which is just fucked up in my world. But I, I'm saying that there, there's a lot of people out there that they have a roommate, they need a roommate, and there's, there's things that they do that really affect that other person, and I don't think they realize it. And I think that's one of the things that we should get to is, um, you know, like like you said, you you have a really needy roommate at the moment, but like I, there's a lot of people out there that have roommates that that do certain things that just drive me crazy. You know what I mean? Um. Well, what drives me buggy? Yeah. And it's a weird little glitch, if you will. Sure. But he will brush his teeth in my bedroom. What just? Like, like when you're sleeping? <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, before he goes to work, I'll be playing NHL, Modern Warfare, whatever. Okay. And he'll just come into my room, watch me play as he brushes his teeth. Like, and that drives you crazy. Well, who does that? I don't know. <laughs> Your roommate. <laughs> that is pretty. <laughs> does he? He doesn't like. He doesn't like go rinse his mouth out and then come back in with scope and gargle, does he? No, 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 no. Because <laughs> that'd be just straight up fucked up. <laughs> but see, one thing I do like about being this guy's roommate is I've helped him grow a little bit. Like, okay. okay. I, I gave him a lecture. Well, not a lecture, but a friendly talk one night. We were having a couple beers. And I told him, once all my toothpaste and everything's gone in the bathroom, yeah. I'm buying new stuff and I'm keeping it in my room. Okay. Well, he got, kind of got mad at me, which understandable. Like, roommates help each other out. Sure. But well, not always. I but. don't mind helping somebody out if they're willing to help themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's what I told him. I'm like, not once have I seen you do anything for yourself. So you basically, what happened is you basically ended up helping him kind of get on his feet when it came to certain circumstances. And then from there, he just took that more of a... More of a... A crutch. Okay, yeah. Yeah. No, I understand that. I understand that for sure. It's like going back to living with you. Yeah. Me buying the garbage can. Yeah, yeah. So, for me to pass that off to him, I'm happy to have done that for him. Well, let's ex let's explain what the whole garbage can. Yeah, thing fair is. enough. Um, so, I mean, I was going through some hard times there when we were living together. Uh, you went out and bought you went out and bought the garbage can because you yourself after after I kind of finished my my shitty times I got my job again at the restaurant that I'm working at, at the moment and kinda got shit together and you I mean you had you had a job then at Rick's right yeah that's, yep, that's where you're working and ow motherfucker <laughs> and you fucking slashed it for it was good money no it was good money but it, at the end of the day we, you, you didn't really accumulate much right no, so not it, was, at all. it was just the, the I used beginning to sleep on the floor yeah so it was just the beginning of you kinda getting your shit together yeah. and, so you went ahead and bought a garbage can. It, 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 you know, back then it didn't. It didn't seem like it really doesn't seem like a big deal to anybody probably right now. Oh you know, no, like, they're probably Kyle like went and bought a garbage us. can. Yeah, like, yeah. What the fuck is this guy talking about? But, but if anybody understands, you need a little head or a push. You encouragement. Do. You do. And I did. Something. I did the best that I could to do that. And I mean, you know, I'm not saying that I, you know, I daddied you along. Oh mother, fucker. But. I mean that that kind of situation really helped out, and I think that uh, I think that and to to let's just to finish off the roommate conversation. I'm thinking, what the? Fuck? Uh huh. <laughs> God damn it. I'm thinking that what needs to happen, and anybody else here that's thinking about getting a roommate or watching that's thinking about getting a roommate, they they need to understand that really you, you need to take the good with the bad, but. You need to address the bad, and I think that's a lot of. Ooh, I think that's a lot of problem with roommates is that the other person doesn't address what's going on. They don't. They don't address it properly. You know what I mean? They they say that it's bugging them to anybody else, but they won't tell that person. 
and valid, yeah. I think, yeah. yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> I think that's something that needs to happen. I think that, I, I think that's the main thing of becoming a roommate. That from what I've learned, from what I've seen, is that you need to have a decent amount of um, communication. communication. Yeah, you're most right. Definitely. You're right. So I think that's that's basically the main thing I wanted to talk on, and I think it was great that we talked about it since we were roommates before. Yeah, you know, I, I and <laughs> we probably have a lot more, a lot more <laughs> stories to tell on that oh, one. Oh man! <laughs> but since we are, since we are playing a little bit of hockey here, let's go ahead and talk some hockey. What do you think? Most definitely. So the the one thing, one of the things that I want to get on, and I want to talk about my friend Matt. Now Matt, we actually both met Matt. Together. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he used to work at a 7-Eleven. Just like right by our house. Yeah. Yeah. So. I invited him over thinking it would never happen. He gave me his phone number twice. And one night I came home from work and there he was sitting in Ryan's bedroom playing NHL. It's like. Which, by the way, um, I know it may sound a little <laughs> weird, but my bedroom, by the way, is my entertainment hub. So Yeah. Sorry, you. the man cave. Thanks for if that you awkwardness, will. by the way, <laughs> Um. But yeah, so we invited him over, and you know what? He's a good guy. He, he is, is a good guy. He is very good, most definitely. Um, oh, shit. Now, and I would say a little awkward, but you know what? Who isn't awkward in this world? Me. We all. <laughs> Sorry. He's perfect. <laughs> As you can tell, look at the score. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, god damn, I just gave that to you. Anyway, so the reason that I actually brought up Matt is because, like I said, we're talking some hockey. I want to talk about choosing your team, having a team, yes. and and sticking by your team. And there's a lot of people out there. Like I mean, I'm Kyle. I'm sure you know a few of them. You know, the, the bandwagon, right? We yeah, can, we yeah. can put it out there. The bandwagon players, not even just players, but the fans. Like exactly. Um, we live in Alberta, and I don't know, Kyle, if you've experienced this as much as I have. The ba oh, that was oh. so nice! The uh, the bandwagon guys here, because we have two hockey teams. We have the Oilers and we have the Flames. Yeah, Battle of Alberta. Yeah, so... <coughs> the thing... The thing is, is that... <coughs> all these... All these people out there, they, they cheer, in Alberta anyway, they cheer for... Th their chosen team, whether it be Calgary, whether it be Edmonton. Edmonton exactly. But when one of them's doing better, and when it comes to the playoffs, we straight up get. Oh, I can't. You know, I I'm cheering for Edmonton now because, I mean, you know, it's a Canadian team, and I live here, and you know, like this is my shit. And, oh, fuck. and it, it drives me a little crazy, and that's just that one specific circumstance. You know, like Kyle. What's your team, Kyle? Let, let me just ask. My you that team right. is the Calgary Flames. Okay, obviously uh, you're playing them. So, up until the end of this year, we'll see how trades go. And I've been a fan since 1984. Okay. And so now, what do you mean by the whole up until the the trades come? I don't. What do you mean? Well, I just think that they have a lot of money going to players that aren't doing anything on the team, so they kind of need to restructure. Okay. So, my opinion, and I don't know a lot about hockey, and I'll be confront with that. I can't even name every player on the Calgary Flames. Sure. Okay. But you take Drew McGinley or okay. Kippersoff. Well, yeah. between them Kip two, a problem to a lot of people. Between them two, you got fourteen million dollars. Is that what it is? Yeah, seven million dollars a piece in contract. Oh. So you get rid of Aginla. Maybe keep Kippers off, but you get rid of Aginla. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now you got Rick Nash, who's a free agent coming up at the end of the year. Okay. Now, See, you know more than I do. I didn't know that. Wow. <laughs> hey, I'm, just saying. I'm blown away at the moment. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I work but, a lot. Yeah. So. so Rick Nash is a free agent. He's a great player. Okay. All right. And I don't know how new he is into the NHL league. Yeah. I know nothing about that. Yeah. But if we can take him on for let's say four million. Well, not even not even money wise, but just get, like you're talking about getting rid of one of these guys that's and in your opinion is overplayed. Yes. Or well, overpaid, sorry, not overplayed. But not overpaid. not overpaid, just comfortable in his contract. Sure. Okay. 
So, okay. my opinion. Now, no, like but that's said, it. So uh, things are gonna change. What you're saying is that things might change if if that doesn't work out for you. Yes, exactly. Okay. So now, now what 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 team? Like, do you have a team in mind that you would cheer for? What's it, what's your? I, I don't want to say backup team. I think that's ridiculous. No, 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 no. What, no what's I don't what's have a your backup. second favorite team, if I may? The two teams I am chosen to, if you want, Wagenhoff. Wagenhoff, all right. <laughs> Fucking icing. Is either Boston, just because Boston, they're one of the top six teams. Original six. Yes, no, exactly. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, they've always been bruisers, which you got to give them credit for. That's true. It's like the Phillies. I got you. And that's why I like Boston. And I've always okay. been kind of a, a closet Boston fan. <laughs> <laughs> my, my dad's actually a Boston fan. Hey, you knew that though, right? Um, yeah, I did. My dad's a huge Boston fan, so... It was it was good to see him win for sure. So so that's your first not. Oh mother! Uh, look see look that? at that angle. Tic tac toe. Did you see that angle? <laughs> what is he fucking crocheting in his fucking pastime? What is that about? But my second team. Yeah. So I got Boston. Mm. I love Detroit. Detroit mm -hmm. is a fantastic team. Yeah. Yeah. I would have to agree go. with you. I would have to agree with you on that one. But. The Bertuzzi thing. I just, I cannot cheer for the guy. I know it's been Even so long. Still? I, it's been that long. Oh, man, you know what? And like, I'm still okay. not a Bertuzzi, Bertuzzi fan. That's, that's, that's fine. That's understandable. You know what I mean? It took me a long time to actually appreciate Bertuzzi. Um, what is it? Lately. Lately, he's been, I think he's been working with the Zook or something because he's got hands. He's got fucking hands now. Like, he, he, he can actually deke in. And he, he's, he's getting a lot better. But yes, I can understand why he still don't like him. It's like the Sean Avery thing. Yeah. Like, there's just... There's certain players that other people hate. And you can't really uh, can't really change that. Well, it's not a hate. It's, I think, like, the guy broke the guy's neck. Yeah. Alright. Cheap shot, whatnot. I don't even remember the play. I just know what happened. Well, we can watch it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Thank God for YouTube. <laughs> but I think if somebody ends... A player, another player's career. Why should they be able to continue with their career? Well, that now, now that's getting into like the Texas killing justice. You know, I mean, it, it, even if it's accidental, you know what I mean. Well, no, if it's accidental, it's accidental. But who? But if it's a cheap, if it's a cheap shot, like look at Crosby. Crosby isn't the same player as what he well, used to yeah, be. Yeah, he he he's coming back. Oh, fuck. He's, uh, he's supposed to be coming back, but I, I don't know. I don't think he's going to. I, I mean, think even if he, done. I think it is too, and I hate to say it because I, as much as I don't like Sidney Crosby, uh, I don't a, like him either. But I think he's a great a, player. Yeah, he's an amazing player. Just Talent. like I didn't really like Gretzky, but he's amazing. Um, and it's unfortunate that that's happened. It's true. and look at how many cheap shots he's taken to the head. Oh, elbows, fucking because loser. because he's weak. Well, I not, mean, not we. I would have to say because he's weak. There's a lot of guys out there that are, and I hate to say it, they're not necessarily aiming for it, but I think they're, uh, I, I think they understand the weakness, and I think, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Damn it. But I think, I, uh, I forget what I was saying. <laughs> I, I just I, I hope he comes a week, back. A week, guy. Yeah, I just, I hope he comes back, and I hope, I hope it works out, but I, I don't think it will. Me I neither. think is the end of it. Me neither. Anyway, the last thing that I think we should talk about, and we don't have a lot of time to uh, to talk about it, is just uh, the rage quit. Yes. <laughs> it's like yes. Everybody knows the rage quit. Now, personally, and I'm going to kick this off when it comes to uh, Modern Warfare. Okay? That's a good I, way to kick it off. I make videos. Oh, look. Ah, nice. Hey, pretty. Yeah, you still got nothing on me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I make videos um, on my original channel, Just Affected Ryan, and... You know what? There, there are certain days that I I play the game to play the game, and I don't make videos. I just want to have some fun with it because yes, video games are fun. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, it's not that I make videos and I don't think of it as a job. I, I enjoy doing it. And but the days that I am making videos, there's a lot of the time that I'm going for something specific. You know, I'm going for I'm going for a free for all match that I want some chopper action. I'm going for uh, some hardcore. You know, I haven't I haven't put that up yet, but I'm. Lately, I've been going for some hardcore matches, 
that oh yeah dirty that are that are good that are worth watching and it's the thing is that if i don't do well at the beginning i kind of make it feel like the, the rest of the game is fucked no i'm not gonna do well so i quit and that's true because i'll be in a party yeah. with him and he's watching all the scorecards down at the bottom like kill confirm for example yeah. uh, modern warfare 3. he'll collect the tags but halfway through the match he's like oh it's over <laughs> yeah absolutely and but the one thing that I think, and we have a couple minutes here to talk about it. The one thing I think is a is a problem is rage quitting in hockey. Now before what NHL nine, ten, eleven, you didn't get the points. You know they'd rage quit. They wouldn't get they wouldn't get the loss. You know it's like it never happened. But now with NHL twelve here, if they rage quit, you get the loss and the other guy gets the points. Right. That's nice. That and is nice. It, it, it's it's something that I don't think a lot of people know. Honestly. Well, I didn't know until, what, four days ago that I told yeah, you that? Yeah, And I, I think I, the main, and if anyone is even still fucking watching, <laughs> because we're just rambling on. Yeah. <laughs> I think the main part of this video, the main thing that I really want to get across, and obviously, most definitely, so do you, is just to, to finish the game through, to be a good sport, and... To just to don't quit when you're down because the, there's always something that you can learn from a better player. Exactly. You know, and I'm not the best player in the world. You know, it, it's not often that I lose, but at the same time, when I do lose, I I like to I like to think of it as a learning experience. I like to see what I did wrong, and go from there. You know, like uh, to 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 continue playing the game with the guy that I lost to and try and fix what I did. And I think valid, that I valid. think I think that's the main thing that we can that, that I want to talk about. That's appropriate. And right agreed. On. Yeah. Well thanks a lot, Ryan, for that. Hey, no, hey, thanks a lot for stopping by. I appreciate it. Let me give it a little slap right here. Nice. And uh, thanks for letting me kick your ass. Yeah, yeah. So guys, thanks a lot for checking out my video. I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like, please uh, check out my main channel. I do some Call of Duty and Battlefield videos. Only Call of Duty lately, because Battlefield's kind of pissing me off. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, go ahead and like, subscribe if you uh, liked what you saw. And as always, guys, you have a fantastic night.